Welcome back. We've just learned how to use Sino-Korean numbers as well as pure Korean numbers. Well, now let's focus a little bit more on counters. We've so far only learned a small handful of counters that we can use. For example, one for counting money, sal or se for counting your age, as well as some measurements like kilo for kilogram or to for degrees. Remember that a counter is a noun that is only used together with a number. And some counters will use Sino-Korean numbers, while others will use pure Korean numbers. So when you're learning a new counter, take note of which number system it uses. In this lesson, we'll learn many, but not all, of the most commonly used counters. First, let's learn how to count people, and we're going to use the counter 명, along with pure Korean numbers. Here are some examples. 우리 집에 한 명이 왔어요. One person came to my house. 어제 사무실에서 열 명을 만났어요. I met 10 people at the office yesterday. 파티에 백 명이 올 거예요. A hundred people will come to the party. 우리 가족은 여섯 명이에요. My family is, or has, six people. Remember that a counter must be used with a number, so myung by itself does not mean a person. Next, let's learn how to count animals, and we're going to need the counter mari. This will be used together with pure Korean numbers, and the way it works is you'll first say the animal, if it's not already clear, followed by the number, and then the counter mari. Here are some examples. 저기 강아지 두 마리가 있어요. There are two dogs over there. 물고기 다섯 마리를 키웠어요. I raised five fish. 고양이가 쥐 여섯 마리를 잡았어요. The cat caught six mice. 오늘 귀여운 소두 마리와 돼지 세 마리를 봤어요. Today I saw two cute cows and three pigs. Next, let's learn how to count general objects or general things. And the counter that you're going to use for that is K. This is also used together with pure Korean numbers. And the way it works is you'll first say the object if it's not already clear, followed by the number and then K. And you can use K for counting anything that doesn't already have its own counter. Here are some examples. 핸드폰 다섯 개를 샀어요. I bought five mobile phones. 의자 스무 개를 샀어요. I bought 20 chairs. 작은 돌세 개를 던졌어요. I threw three small stones. 상자 두개 안에 공 개를 넣었어요. I put ten balls inside of the two boxes. But many things will have their own counter, and we'll learn some of the most common ones next. But in case you forget those counters, you can still use this one, K, and it will make sense. So we've learned how to count people, animals, and general objects. Well, here are some other very common counters that you can use for counting other sorts of things. First, we have 장 for flat items. For example, 종이 열 다섯 장을 주세요. Give me 15 sheets of paper. Books can be counted using 권. For example, 책. 한 권만 샀어요. I bought only one book. Bottles are counted using 병. For example, 사이다 두 병하고 콜라 여섯 병을 샀어요. I bought two bottles of soda and six bottles of cola. Long and thin items are counted using 자루. For example, 칼한 자루랑 연필 두 자루를 버렸어요. I threw away one knife and two pencils. 
Machines are counted using 대. For example, 제 방에 컴퓨터 세대가 있어요. There are three computers in my room. So we've talked about numbers and some counters. Let's talk about using plurals. The particle 드 should never be used whenever you're using a number. For example, saying something like 의자 들두 개, two chairs, would be incorrect. This is because using a number already shows that there's more than one of that noun. So the particle 드 would just be unnecessary. For example, you can say 한국 사람들은 아주 친절해요. Korean people, in general, are very kind. 저기 한국 사람 두 명이 친절해요. Those two Korean people over there are very kind. But it would be incorrect to use 한국 사람 들두 명 in the above sentence. So we've learned about the counter 명 for counting people, but let's go back and talk about the regular noun 사람, meaning person. If you're speaking honorifically though, if you're talking about a different person besides yourself, it's better to use the honorific noun 분. So you can be a 미국 사람, an American person if you're from America, but someone else would be a 미국 분 if they're from America. For example, 회장님이 친절한 분이세요. The company president is a kind person. 저분도 한국 분이세요. That person is also a Korean person. Note that when 분 is used with the adjectives 이, 그, and 저, there is no space. Note that using 이 사람, this person, 그 사람, that person, or 저 사람, that person over there, is not a polite way to speak about someone although it does make sense. Let's learn one more very important word that often is used together with counters, and that is 몇, meaning how many. Here are some examples of how you can use it. 몇 개를 살 거예요? How many will you buy? 오늘 학교에 몇 명이 왔어요? How many people came to school today? 고양이 몇 마리를 키우고 있어요? How many cats are you raising? 빌리 씨는 몇 살이세요? How old are you, Billy? Note that although asking 몇 살이세요 is not rude, it is also not an especially polite way to ask someone older their age. In a future lesson, we'll learn a much more polite way to ask someone their age, as well as how to ask their name. All right, so let's take everything that we've learned today and put it together into a conversation between two people, Pora and Hyojung. First, Pora says, Hyojung 씨, 저기 종이를 좀 주세요. Hyojung, please give me some of that paper over there. 네, 몇 장을 드릴까요? Okay, how many sheets should I give you? Note. 드릴까요 comes from 드리다, to give, which is the honorific verb of 주다, to give. 세 장을 주세요. Please give me three sheets. 네, 여기 세 장이요. Okay, here is three sheets. 고마워요. Thanks. 아, 그리고 연필 세 자루하고 노트북 한 대도 주세요. Ah, and please give me three pencils and one laptop also. 네, 여기 연필 세 자루하고 노트북 한 대요. Okay, here is three pencils and one laptop. 고마워요. Thank you. 효정 씨, 저기 종이를 좀 주세요. 네, 몇 장을 드릴까요? 세 장을 주세요. 네, 여기 세 장이요. 고마워요. 아, 
그리고 연필 세 자루하고 노트북 한 대도 주세요. 네, 여기 연필 세 자루하고 노트북 한 대요. 고마워요. But before we go, I have a few notes. Typically, phone numbers and other general numbers will just be read using Sino-Korean numbers. However, for zero, you have two options. You can either say 공 or 영. When you're using counters with markers, it's okay to use it directly after the noun or directly after the counter. For example, you can either say 햄버거 두 개를 먹었어요 or 햄버거를 두 개 먹었어요. When the amount of any object is just one, you can also just use hana instead of saying hange or hanjang, etc. And there are many counters that are from regular nouns. For example, cup means just a cup and can also be used to count cups of something. Kura means a bowl or a dish and can also be used to count bowls or dishes of food. And of course, note that this lesson did cover some of the most common and essential counters, but we didn't cover all of them that you'll find. We'll learn more counters in later lessons. So in this lesson, we learned several of the most important counters. Make sure to practice all of these, and I'll see you again in the next lesson. 그럼 다음에 또 봐!